And welcome on this Thursday, a family finally getting a step closer to receiving justice tonight after a grandmother and two children were killed when a driver fleeing police slammed into their vehicle as they were on their way to church. It happened six years ago and today the man accused of hitting them finally faced the charges in court. Caitlin Ross reports. DeAndre Tigner was just 16 when police say he led them in a high speed chase starting in College Park through southwest Atlanta. It ended tragically when police say the stolen Chevrolet Suburban Tigner was driving crashed into the car 76 year old Dorothy Wright was in. Wright was taking her two grandchildren, six year old Layla and 12 year old Cameron to church when she was hit. All three of them were killed in the crash. In the years following their deaths, the children's mother, Joy Partridge, has begged the suspect to come forward. Six years later, he was finally arrested. In a short report from College Park Police detailing the arrest, officers wrote the now 22-year-old Tigner came to the door with his own child in his arms. He was taken into custody without incident and faced a slew of charges today from the 2016 incident, including felony murder, reckless driving, and hit and run. After the crash, Partridge filed a lawsuit against College Park Police and later Atlanta Police, alleging their conduct during the 10-mile chase led to her mother and children's deaths.